Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. I finally saw Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. <laughs> and to be honest with you, I thought that this one exceeded all the others in its epicness, <laughs> for lack of a better term. It was truly an exhilarating, enthralling, mesmerizing tale and it's boiled down basically to a battle of good against evil and the ultimate element love and its power and how um how life itself is not as not as it seems and there was a, a line that i really liked that Dumbledore said to Harry before he reawakens and it was if anything pity the living and especially those who are without love and that statement in and of itself I thought was extremely profound and I just absolutely loved this movie especially how they ended it I had always wondered how they were going to depict that the 19 years later scene and I think that they did just um, an outstanding job. One of my favorite characters, uh, Severus Snape, uh, <laughs> I, got, I got really overclimped with those scenes that he had because I, I knew, uh, having read the books, that, that he was good and kind and altruistic and he had formed a pact with Dumbledore. So um, it was very moving and he, he proves himself to be a very loving character and misunderstood and and I can relate a lot to that because when I was in high school and middle school people always made fun of me because they didn't understand me I didn't really fit into any said mold <laughs> and I was always on the outside looking in and I actually um, didn't really have a lot of friends I, I had um, few people I talked to but I was pretty much a loner and Snape was always solitary I think and, and except when he was helping uh, move Albus's plan along and the, the defeated Voldemort and I like the fact that Voldemort looks even more <coughs> more like a snake in this um, and that he's he's just more sinister and disturbing and just the fact that he wants all that power he wants immortality and there's a scene near the end where Harry has the elder one which is the ultimate wand that any wizard can wield and with it comes unlimited power and of course Ron and Hermione said well what, what are you going to do with it we could do anything we could be invincible and then, of course, Harry snaps it <laughs> and throws it off of the bridge at Hogwarts and, of course, after, after the battle. And I think that this movie deserves five stars, without a doubt. I, I just think it was the, the best of, of the entire um, Harry Potter saga. And I, I really loved it, and I was really sad to see my favorite character die on screen but <coughs> it was treated very well and I just felt that there was a fitting homage to um, Severus in the end <laughs> and I just I love the way it ends and it, it leaves more room for I think more um, more stories to be told about Hogwarts um, down the line, even though J.K. Rowling really isn't writing any further Harry Potter books, or so we think currently. But um, this story itself is about friendship and uh, love, the power, the just the unbelievable, miraculous power of love itself, and how it truly is the the one element that defies all logic and reason and 
uh, defeats evil. Um, <laughs> I really enjoy this series, and I I think it's uh, absolutely phenomenal. And this is my favorite of all of them, both both parts of the Deathly Hallows, just because I think it's very accurate to the book and. I think that they did a stellar job. Uh, everybody who was involved, they, they put their blood, sweat, and tears into this, and, and you could see it. And there were times that I was watching this, I just broke out into tears. Because I, these characters are so near and dear to my heart, and I grew up with these characters. And um, I wish my mom could have been here to have seen it, because my mother was a, a huge Harry Potter fan. and. Lily Potter reminds me a lot of my mom, <laughs> just just because she's a very beautiful character, resilient and very strong, and wants to do anything for for her family. And she tried to protect him from from being killed by Voldemort from the very beginning. Of course, we know that, but. That's why he has the lightning-shaped thunderbolt on his forehead. Um, all I can say is, having having seen this, I know my mother would have been just pleased as punch seeing that it was a happy ending because she didn't care for films that didn't have happy endings. And <laughs> although I would say, mother, you know this is real life. A lot of times there are just some stories that, that don't have happy endings, they, their, their endings are bittersweet. And she said, I know that, but I like happy endings. And, and I thought she was always like a, a little kid that way. I myself prefer the happy endings if I had a choice, but as far as movies are concerned, this is the one that you should definitely see other than Transformers. It is absolutely unbelievable. I like the roller coaster scene, the Gringotts. I, I thought that was so awesome. It was just <laughs> incredible. I was literally wrapped. I just couldn't take my eyes off of the screen and, and there weren't, weren't really that many lulls in this particular um, final volume and as I said before, kudos to everybody who was involved and the whole um, message here is just <laughs> extraordinary I think just the fact that um, there are there are those people that you can can trust in, in difficult times even when you might not think that they are on your side they turn out to be for you in the end and um, you never know. You just you just have to go through life with uh, faith and hope and trust, and, and knowing that somehow your story is going to have a happy ending. <laughs> I like to think of life that way. I like to see it as a glass half full rather than a glass half empty. And I think that's the whole message here: that good will always conquer evil, no matter what. It is old as time. And those of us who enjoy seeing the the, um, the heroes and heroines triumph were very happy at the end to, to see uh, Voldemort finally fall. And it just, uh, it leaves you with a tear and a smile at the same time. And I think that it is a fitting end to what I feel is one of the finest fantasy epics of all time and it remains near and dear to my heart and I, th I think it'll be timeless for years to come down the road and um, I just want to thank JK Rowling for writing the series because I think it's very inspirational and it just has so many teaching moments and um, really good philosophies to be taken from it and it is nothing short of outstanding. It is truly a magical um, <laughs> enthralling story. Hey Spike, <laughs> now you finally get to see my doggy. Hey buddy, what you doing? <laughs> it's 
city dog. But that's all I have to say about Harry Potter. Two thumbs way, way up. Five stars, hands down. And that's all she wrote. <laughs>